Hey, you've got the captain, Captain Fuzzy here, and I am going to show you how to port assets, models, maps, whatever, from Gary's Mod to Source Filmmaker. Okay, so let's get started. First thing we need to do is we need to go to the Steam community, and here's the page loading up. And we need to go to the Gary's Mod community site. Now, if you do not have Gary's Mod installed and working, you will not be able to download anything from the workshop. So, you must have Gary's Mod installed and working before you can subscribe to anything in the workshop. Now, with that being said, let's get in here and see, as you can see, there's all kinds of stuff in here that you can choose from. We're going to look for a model. I'm not too terribly particular, so to be honest with you, let's just find something that uh, is a recent add-on. And... There's all kinds of stuff in here, actually. Um, let's just look around for a second. I'm just going to use something as as uh, an example. Oh, look at here. This looks interesting. Ah, it's all kinds of planets. Eh, that would come in handy for stuff like, um, oh, I don't know building a model of the solar system uh but uh what the hell let's subscribe to it well before we subscribe to it let's go down here and look in some of the comments i like to do this because if anybody is complaining in the comments about models not working well in gary's mod then there's a good chance that they're not going to work too well in Source Filmmaker as well. And now, that's just my personal experience. Some people have better luck than others. Um, but as a general rule, if it looks like they're having problems with it in Gary's Mod, then uh, you're probably going to have problems with it in SFM too. Um, also, there's required items. Uh, if there's anything that the item re that is needed in uh, Gary's Mod to make this work, uh, you may have to have it for Source Filmmaker too. Stuff like the Body Group Tool and the Advanced Bone Tool, yes, I'm subscribed to them, but they're not really needed for SFM. This one, I'm not really sure, but just to be on the safe side, let's not pick that one. Let's pick something a little bit different. Um, well, it don't really matter. I'm going to do it anyway. We're just going to see what happens together. I'm going to subscribe to it. Solar System Planet Pack. Um, and in order for it to function properly in Gary's Mod, we're probably going to need that. So I'm going to sub to it as well. Just that way I don't get any problems in Gary's Mod with it. So we'll go ahead and sub to that. And... We'll just hit uh, cancel and refresh the page and see if it gives me all three check marks, which it does. Okay, now we'll sub to it. That way I just don't have any problems with it that I created myself in not having something in Gary's mod to go with it. This probably won't have any effect on it because it's going into SFM. But I like to play it safe. If it says I need it, I go ahead and I get it anyway. So we've subscribed to it. And it's downloaded already. As you can see, I've downloaded some stuff that's updated here. So we are good to go. Let's go ahead and leave the Steam community. Now the next thing is, is in order to get everything installed and functioning properly, we need to run Gary's Mod. Long enough for everything to be downloaded and done the way it should be. So 
we're going to let Gary's mod fire up. Now, yours may take less time. It may take more time for all of this to load up. I've got a pretty decent system, so mine generally doesn't take that long. As you can see, it's extracting it and everything. Boom, it's done. Uh, if your background screen, as you can see on here, starts zooming in on its own, then it's all done because it'll kind of freeze up a little bit while it's downloading and extracting. But as you can see, it's zooming in here, so it's done. So we can go over here and hit it. Now, that's done. Now, we need to go into Windows Explorer. Let's go Local Disk C, Program Files x86, scroll down to Steam, go to Steam Apps, common and here's all of our games and stuff that are installed in steam here's the gary's mod folder so let's open that now if this is the first time you're doing a port from gary's mod you're going to need to do this step you're going to need to go into the bin folder and find gmad exe and copy it into the gary's mod add-ons folder now I've already done this so I don't need to copy and paste it and as you can see I have a number of models and assets that I have downloaded and ported into SFM through here so here you see here's our GMAD EXE and so it's already in there now we need to find the GMA for the solar system that I just downloaded from Gary's Mod. So I'm going to scroll down through here and look around until I find... Ah, here it is. Solar System Planet Pack, GMA. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag it up here to the GMAD EXE and drop it. Now you saw that little uh, console window that popped up? That indicates that it was unpacking this now we see the name here we're going to find a folder up above with the exact same name as the gma file so let's go look for it solar system planet pack we'll go up here to where all my folders are and we'll search through here blah 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 oh here it is solar system planet pack now let's open that folder and here we have the two folders that we are concerned about as far as SFM goes. The materials and the models folders. We want to copy these. So let's select one. Press and hold control. Select the second one. Right click. And we're going to hit copy. Now, let's collapse the Gary's Mod back and go down here to Source Filmmaker. Expand it. Expand Game. Now, here's where there's a lot of dissension. You can do it however you want, but you run the risk of messing something up if you drop it in the user mod folder. Now, I've done this myself, and I've not had any problems, but however, some people have. So really, it is recommended that you create a separate folder for stuff like this, so that you don't mess anything up in the user mod folder because it is a key system folder for Source Filmmaker and if you mess something up in the user mod folder generally that means a reinstall and so then you gotta start all over so knowing that I created a Gary's Mod folder so I'm going to right click on the Gary's Mod folder and I'm gonna hit paste and Windows pops up and wants to know, do I want to merge this folder? Well, yes. Actually, I want to merge two folders, Models and Materials. So, so I don't ask me the same question twice in a row. I'm just going to click that and hit Yes. Boom. There we go. It is now installed in Source Filmmaker. Now, here's the trick. Does it work? Well, let's find out. Let's open up Source Filmmaker. Let that bad boy load up. And hopefully it don't take terribly long. And yes, my 
splash screen is a little bit bigger because I run with the uh, 1080p, the 1080 resolution in my startup, but that's a whole nother thing. Uh, okay, I have a model test DMX that I've already set up for doing this type of thing. So let's just load this bad boy up. And it shouldn't take too terrible long. Usually uh, a few seconds. Depends on your system. Mine's a little beefier, so I usually it doesn't take too terrible long for me to load up, load up this map. But that's about normal. Okay, we're in the clip editor right now. And in order to move a model around, you have to at least be in the motion editor. So I automatically jump to the motion editor. And now let's create an animation set for new model. And let's type in solar and see what pops up. Ah, here we go. Solar panels. Um, we may have to wait for a minute. It may come up. If not, then we may have to go up here and change this to the Gary's Mod folder to just look specifically in there. I'm waiting for a second to see if it pops up. Oh, here we go. No, that's user mod. Okay, this is going to take a while, so let's go to my Gary's Mod folder. Ah, there it is. It actually popped up right there. Planet. And there's a random planet. Of course, this has different skins for the different planets. There's like Mercury, blah, blah, blah. There's the Earth. Uh, there's the Moon. Let's see here. Where's Saturn? That's Neptune. Uranus. Yes, I know. I said Uranus. <laughs> oh, those are kind of crappy. But anyway, we're just testing this out anyway. So there's the moon. Let's open the bad boy up. Woo! There we go. Let's select it and grab the default slider. Drag it over and it will put it in the middle. And there we go. We have... A model of the moon in here it's not too bad done and there you go that's how you import a model into SFM from Gary's mod as always if you have any questions or comments um, hit me up at the bottom of this video in the comments section or you can find me usually hanging around the SFM discussions um, I'll Try to help you out as best as I can, and if I can't, I happen to know a couple of people that probably can. So, we'll get you fixed up one way or another. And there you have it. That is how you port a Gary's model into Source Filmmaker. This is Captain Fuzzy, and I hope you learned something.